everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apologize for any background noise that's going on. There's some stuff going on downstairs with the family. Um, my youngest is actually going to be graduating from grade 8 and they're they're got their outfit and they're checking that out. So there's conversations going on downstairs that are sometimes getting a little loud. Plus we've been dumped on by a pant load of rain. So um, if you hear some rain in the background, that's... Uh, it's going to get louder and softer as we go on. It's, it's quieting down now, but um, yeah, so that's, that's out of the way with. So let's have a look at the star map real quick and see where we are. So we've jumped a fair distance here. We're down to Ashcom right here. It's a five uh, skull planet in the Federated Suns. Problem with what we have right now is that it's really difficult to find any missions that are five skull um, that are not for like the planetary government or independence because we just don't have the rep with anybody else to be able to uh, pull off stuff. So, and you also notice over here, Ghost Bear has somehow got a pocket of planets here in the center of Federated Commonwealth space. I have no idea how they got these planets here, but they've taken a bunch of them. I, I don't know. Maybe someone can throw a message in the comments section. I have no idea. But we're 44 days away from the end of this flashpoint here. Um, and that's where we're headed but we're only 16 days away from the planet so it's not a big deal we got time um so we're going to take there's like a one mission here i want to take for sure it's a five skull um but let's have a quick look at the mech base because see where we're at here so all of our mechs are back with the exception of the ones that we're getting fixed up king crab i did a major refit too i'm not going to show you what it looks like yet until it's done it's at 10 days out so i think what we'll do is we'll take a mission mission on this planet We'll jump over to another five skull planet that I found close by. It's uh, still Federated Suns, but it's another five skull planet. See if we can pick up a good five skull mission there. Uh, it's only 13 days away, so it's not that bad. We still got on another month after that before we get to hit up that flashpoint. So, and then we'll be getting these mechs back too as well. Uh, so if we go to our tasks here, you can see everything will be back in 10 days. The Awesome will be back. Kerberos will be back. Um, Fist of Dorn made a couple of mentions of what we could possibly do with the Kerberos uh, and the Atlas. The Atlas has already been loaded out, unfortunately. Um, and I'll show you kind of what I got there. Um, uh, he had mentioned using the uh, the, um, heavy, the heavy pirate PPCs that we have. I actually sold those in a big batch sell of stuff, which is why we have uh, um, 5.19 million. Um, I sold a whole ton of stuff that um, I probably wasn't going to end up using before the end of the series. So we still have a bunch of other stuff in there. We'll definitely find a good loadout for it. I'm not sure what we're going to do with the Awesome just yet or the Kerberos, but we'll figure something out. Uh, we don't have any more XL engines, unfortunately, so it's not like we can put XL engines in these these guys here. Uh, but the Atlas definitely does have one. And it, I think it cost me like almost four and a half million or something to get this thing with an XL engine in it. So it was a fair bit of C-bills just to get that up and running. So I wouldn't even have enough for the Kerberos probably or the Awesome to put an XL engine in. But that being said, we'll see what we can do today. So let's have a look here at the contracts. And Griff has almost got his skills up to 10 across the board too. That's a good thing. We've got to take the bait contract. So this could end up being good. It's uh, against um, the House Davian. So it might end up being a good mission or it might just end up being a bust. I don't know. Possibility could be up to 10 mechs in this, which might be interesting. But I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Let's negotiate this sucker and we'll go full salvage. Because why not? All right, um, so let's put our main lance into battle. All right, Griff and Mockingbird and Six Pack and Rhino. And let's go with the standard lance, I think. Um, I'm tempted to swap out the two Timberwolves for the Orion and um, the, uh, the Zeus. But I think we're going to go Clan Air Raid, so let's go full... Full clan or raid. Uh, and let's do this. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, Rhino managed to get her guts up to, up to 10. So she's got now minus 10% heat generation, uh, which is going to definitely help out with those um, heavy improved uh, medium lasers because she's been running into heat problems. So it'll help out a little bit, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. All right, here we go. flush it out. Forget that. We're just going to kill it where it stands. Alright. Uh, well, okay. I was disoriented. It took me a second to figure out where we were here and what map this was. 
because we were facing this way. I thought we had to go this way, but it's like it's just down here. All right, well, we got the range. Let's uh, move over here and see what we can do. See if we can at least spot yeah. some stuff. So I um, had a few uh, questions about what we're planning on doing for the next series. And I think maybe we will do it. I mean, most people have been watching my clan series as opposed to my Inner Sphere series, the Night Witches. So I think I'll probably end up doing a clan start. And I think I'll probably go with the double lance idea. Two lances on one Argo. So, the, you know, I'll keep up the, the Argo uh, repairs on both of them in the same episode. Um, we'll go to the same planets in the same episode. So we'll all be always be at the same location. And what I'll probably do is run a kind of a, comp a clan competition between the two of them. I've got eyes on hostile of course you do. Exterminator, Hellbat, Crab, and a Raven. And a Misery. Well, we're about to bring this guy some Misery. Um, yeah, so I think that would kind of be cool. And then we'll have to keep an offline tally somehow. Because um, I think what I want to do is have the units bid against each other. So we'll hit a planet, right? And while we're hitting the planet, it'll be like, oh, you know, we need to take these objectives. And, you know, we'll choose try to choose similar missions. And then bid on objectives and... Uh, oh. Um, and what it'll take to actually achieve that. So it'll constantly be trying to get me to go in with like less units and whatever, taking higher skill contracts to see if I can succeed uh, based on what units we start off with. Now I have no idea what we're gonna start off with. It could be good, it could be bad. Um, so we'll just have to see what happens. Let's just go after this leg. And I forgot to turn the rack up. Crap. Can you get in there? Just barely. Confirmed. See if we can finish this guy up. How much do you got left here? 36. There we go. He experienced some misery, all right. Anyways, I'm thinking that that'll kind of be neat. And then we and then, you know, we'll have the pilots will be will, will be fixed in their mechs. So, for instance, um, for whatever number of pilots I end up having, um, or whatever number of mechs I start off with, that's the number of pilots I'm allowed to have. So, um, wow. Ooh, okay, one of the heavies hit. Um, that'll be the number of pilots I'm allowed to have. So let's say I start off with six mechs. I can only have six pilots, uh, including the leader. Each one is going to get their own mech, and they're going to stay in that mech. And then based on what their... Um, I want to pull this guy's leg off. I don't want to kill that raven. Ooh, I ain't doing anything to this guy. Let's shoot the raven. Um, I want to rack... I want to roll this up. Let's go to five. Um... So, for instance, let's say we get a let's say we get a pilot with um, a criminal background or whatever, or a history of, of being a pirate or whatever, or you know malcontent or whatever you want to call them. Um, then their mech will be um, mostly like with pirate weapons and stuff. So um, it's going to add to the flavor, I think. Um, so the pilots will be kind of in sync with their own mechs. Then, then when we make our bid, we can decide who we want to use in what situation. So, for instance, we'll have one dedicated artillery pilot. We'll have one ded dedicated melee pilot. Uh, and yes, we can go melee in this one because we're you know we're going to be uh, bandit cast. So there's no reason why we can't melee. And we'll build our pilots based on that, right? Um, I think that'll be kind of fun because then we'll have like I mean. I know Fist of Dorne kept saying to me, you know, you should build a pirate loadout. You should build a pirate loadout. And I, I've been staying away from pilot weapons, or pirate weapons, sorry, because, you know, of the uh, potential for damaging yourself and all that. So this like this way, we'll be able to do it, right? We'll just go ahead and do it and say, screw it, just get it done, right? 
And if the pilot dies, the pilot dies. It's just going to be the flavor of the actual character. So my thought is also, rather than going, like right, normally the way I play is I'll, I'll play with, um, so where are we going to go here? Let's get in the trees. Um, when I play, I normally play that, uh, wow. A little better. Wow. Let's just shoot you. Um, I usually play so it's eight pieces of salvage that I need to get collect. And I generally don't choose mech parts unless I can finish assembling a mech, right? Um, let's get in the trees. Deal with this guy, I think. Just go to three. So, ooh, a nice head hit. Um, so it kind of limits um, what I'm able to use. Um, and it just, I'm on fire, really? Ain't gonna stop the Ultra 20. Um, and that way, whatever I get, I have to use. Um, but if we go with what I'm thinking of, um, I'll probably, oh wow. That's a lot of stuff. Good thing I'm in the trees. Um, if we go the way I'm thinking, um, then what I'll probably do is I'll go five mech parts to build a mech, and I won't choose any mech salvage at all. So we're stuck with whatever we get, right? Whatever we're able to pick up off the battlefield. Um, so that's going to be the goal anyway. We'll see how it plays out. Um, that way, both both sides, both leopard dropships, both uh, teams, it's going to be completely random what they get. And it's whatever they're, like, they can choose the weapons and stuff, sure. But whatever mechs they get, they get, and they're stuck with it, and they have to do do the best job they can with what they have. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of where I'm thinking. I think it'll kind of be interesting. It'll kind of offset the, like, um, um, sorry. Um, yeah, because we were thinking about, you know, where's, what's the goal of the series? What's the challenge of the series going to be? Um, and I'm thinking that that's... You know, short of like at least the clans we we're we're invading inner sphere space, and if you're playing in the inner sphere, the idea is to defend this inner sphere against the clans, or defend whatever whatever uh, allegiance you've made yourself to against everybody else. Um, Waiting for orders. But if you're playing the shadow case, it's like you're just a bandit and that's it, right? So this way, oh, it'll give us a nice competition. Uh, you can root for whoever you want. Um, one team or the other will both be on the same side bidding against each other of course but um, at least that way it's just going to make things interesting i think and you know who knows who knows what it's going to end up being after a certain number of episodes right uh let's just go this route all right one hit all right we'll just see how it goes and i think that'll kind of be fun and exciting now i just have to figure out how i'm going to lay out um the actual um the episodes, how I'm going to do it, whether we do it, um, let's crank this up, whether we do it so that, um, I have, you know, each of them doing, uh, a mission in the same episode, or whether we do one episode for one unit and one episode for another the next day. Um, I'm only going to be recording one, one episode per day. I'm not going to be doing two like I've normally been doing in the past little while. Um, I don't think I, stamina wise, I just don't think I can keep that up, but I think we can do one really good series with two different groups. Um, so let me know, let me know what your thoughts are, whether you want to see a little bit from each of them in the day and they can progress side by side or be one episode for one group, one episode for another group. I don't know. I think having them side by side in the same episode would be a good idea. Then we can see progression each episode as we go along. Just need to figure that out, but you know, I'm open, I'm open for ideas. Also, too, I mean, if you got ideas for pilots um, and specific types of loadouts you want to see for pilots, let me know. Because, I mean, with the series that, that if, it, if it progresses the way I'm thinking, it's going to progress. Um, and we get a certain number of mechs, right? We can have all different kinds of pilots for all different kinds of situations, right? And all different kinds of mechs, right? 
So, you know, I think it's going to be fun. I really do. Commander. We'll see how it goes, though. Um, can we... Copy that. Batty, batty, batty. This guy is like... Ah, uh, no, let's not do that. Let's just shoot him. I'm not going to waste 11%. Got the ammo. Reporting negative damage. So I'm looking forward to it. We'll see what happens. I'm just going to leave this off. Engaging wow. Damn it. Don't say damn it. Hit your target. Ah, let's leave the heavy off. Boom, you're dead. So anyway, yeah, I think it's going to be a good series. If you got an idea for pilots, mech loadouts, combination of the two, um, kind of be a cool idea. We'll probably be running um, between 10 and 12 pilots to start. I think we start off with five mechs. We might get six, but I think it's five, which means we'll have 10 pilots in total. So um, I'll come up with the leaders for both sides. They're definitely going to be like head to head against each other. Um, but in a fun way, because we are part of the same unit, right? Oh, girl, nothing. Failed to connect. Ready for order. It's got super ridiculous uh, Affirmative. stealth on this thing here. What do we got? 13%. Five for the medium. Let's just throw one on. Never know, you might connect. Can't hit what you can't what you're not shooting at. Good to go. All right, dude. Let's just get in the open. We got eyes on. Looks like a black knight. Oh, I think somebody said this is like a Lady Electus mech or something like that. Was it? Who was it? Someone said that. I can't remember who it was. Oh yeah, we'll leave it on six here. And let's warlord this up. Sorry, but if this is Lady Electa, I apologize for shredding your mech here. Oops, my bad. There you go, folks. Mission successful. Although I gotta say, if I have to go back and say what's the, been the funnest moment of this entire series, it was when I lost the Orion to the beef. That has to be the funniest moment, the best moment of this entire series. The friggin' Dire Star. Best. <laughs> I know we. I know I lost the mech to that, but that was like the best. I gotta say. I had no inkling that that mech was even in the game, and when it showed up, it was like, yes, but no at the same time. All right, light PPCs. We're not going to go for any of that stuff. Let's look for sea bill related stuff. We're out of case, too. Uh, let's grab some case. Um, we don't have any cocks, cockpits and stuff. Endo steel we got. XL. I'm not taking the regular. Goss accuracy. I think we've got a plus three one already. So let's not take that. There is the prototype heat sink kit we were looking for. Oh my god, yes. And let's take the patchwork. Maybe. What ammo do we have down here? Gas. Chaf. Nothing really impressive down here. So let's take the 0.75 ton patch. Well, you know what? The heavy mechs aren't really going to be able to use this, though. They're going to be so crammed full of stuff. Oh yeah, the Seeker. You gotta be really close for this thing. Like, when you read this, it sounds great. Plus 5 accuracy for ranged weapons, right? Decays by 5 per range, which means in the range is 60 meters. So, anything past 60 meters and your attack is 0. Right? <laughs> so, unless you're within 60 meters, this thing is completely useless. But, if you get within 60 meters, whoever you're shooting at is dead meat. So, this is like perfect for an assassin type of mech. Um, something that's fast or has jump jets. Just jump over your enemy, shoot him in the back. This is like a brilliant piece of machinery. We have, I think we've got, we don't have any of these, but we do have, the, there's another one that's actually better, one better than this. It's like plus six with the same, de with the same decay. So up to 120 meters, you're plus one and then plus, f plus six within 60 meters. So 360 core, no. Um, 
I think that's it. Unless we take the medium combat shield. It's three slots though. Same as the patchwork material, but minus 10% damage taken? Yeah, I'll take that. I have no idea what we're going to be up against in this last mission. So I'm thinking, let's put that on. Because we'll probably end up using the um, the Kerberos as a, uh, as a tank mech up front. In which case we're going to want as much damage reduction as we can possibly get on it. So that misery was a stalker, I guess, eh? Not anymore. All right, one, two, three exterminator pieces. Four exterminator. You know, if I got an exterminator, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be disappointed. The mech is actually not that bad. The sixty-five tonner with the the, the uh, stealth on it. Yeah, it's not that bad. All right, some more stuff that we can sell. Excellent. Okay. So yeah, going back to the next uh, series. If anybody's got ideas how to score. Um one team versus the other. I was thinking the skull differences in ratings, so, but that's tricky because like, you can have like a four and a half, five skull clan rated lance at the very start of the game. So how do you, tr how do you figure it out? Like if you're taking half skull missions just to survive, how do you figure out who did a better job? You know what I mean? So, it might be the tonnage we're up against, in which case I'll have to record the tonnage of every unit we fight. Or it could be the number of units that we fight. Um, plus, it's also going to be whether you succeed in your task, if you fail in any of the tasks, like uh, if you don't destroy all the turrets, or if you hit and run and get away. Um, like, I'd have to figure out, like, if you don't kill the tonnage, but you succeed in the goal, how does that play into it? And then we'll have to come up with some kind of point system. I'll have to figure out how that's going to work. Um, and figure out what Lance is running better. I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out. And why is the this pod cutting through? Is it cutting through the leopard, or is, am, am I just not seeing it correctly? No, it is. It's cutting through the leopard. Guys, modelers, really, just shift this forward a tiny, tiny bit. Like no. Just is it is it or am I I'm or am I blind? We'll find out here in a second. Watch for it. Watch for it. No, I don't think it is. Okay, I'm wrong. I am wrong, and I'm not afraid to admit that. All right, let's have a look. I don't think we want to take this this escort contract. I think we want to jump. Uh, six twenty five salvage. It's pirates. We could run the second lance. Incomplete intelligence is a three skull local government. Destroy base. That'll be quick. Let's take the destroy base. Get some more rep back with... Uh, yeah. Get some more rep back with Federated Suns. We don't drop too low. At least we'll still be able to get some missions with them. Let's put our second lance in. Let's mix it up a little bit. So Hannibal... Let's get our lower rated mech pilots in now. So let's bring Judge in. Um, then we'll bring in Eagle and Giant just to get them some experience. Uh, so I'm going to let you run the Orion. And then we're doing a destroy base. So let's bring the... Uh, who do we want to put where? Let's put Judge in the catapult and then we'll put our two younger pilots in the Mad Dog and the Exterminator. Let's go this route. All right, here we go. Oh, okay, this map. We are loaded out perfectly for this map. Hey. hey. Uh, let's go this way, and we're going to walk it. Okay, let's go. go. Our ECMs should give us some pretty good uh, cover here for the first little bit. Yeah, I'm inter really, really interested to see what we're going to get yeah, Commander. loading it out in the next little bit, in the next uh, series. What what mechs we'll pick up first and second and stuff. We, got bad guys. we do have bad guys, don't we? Location confirmed. We got a turret. Can we shoot this? We cannot. Raptor. Don't care. 
Um, let's remove this, please. Thank you. That turret is gone. <laughs> it sure is. So I think if we stick together, we should be okay. Should be okay. Oh, okay. We can get in range here. Oh, we can get rid of this turret too. Standard turret. 37. Oh, yeah. Can we use the HE on this? No. It's out of range. It's fine. Um, yeah. I don't like the ammo on this. The number of rounds we have is really low. Only thing I don't like about it. You betcha. So we got Thanatos. Fire truck. Hooray. Uh, it's multi. Huh. Why is this a gap here? I don't know. Uh, let's go C the tag on C get the turret and then let's wind this second one up try and kill that other the fire truck uh -huh. okay more than enough for that whoa and we got the tag on the Thanatos nice Well, you didn't get the truck. Let's get the truck. Shoot him. Uh -huh. Nice. Kill the ads. Waiting for orders. Moving to position. What do we got for this turret here? 51%, huh? 33 and 38 and 64 on this guy. Um, it's just fire. Yeah. I guess. I guess. Okay. Firing everything. Bet that hurt. I bet it did. Full speed. Oh, out of range. Damn. Ooh. <laughs> it's flash right in his groin. Sorry, right in its groin. We don't know what if it's a male or female. Both racks up. Let's pull that down and toast down, please. Shred him. He's like, what the hell was that? Heading out. Can we hit this? 80%. That's pretty good. I'll take it. Nice. One less turret. Ready for orders. Not knowing what the turrets are, it's always better to take them out just in case. Moving out. Um, hmm. Yeah. Got it. Maybe we can knock him down. I don't know. Hey. Hey. I think I'd rather take out the raptor and get rid of him. Can you toast this guy for me? HE's still out of range, huh? Okay. Yeah, man. He's not moving, so... Shred him! Look at the thing shaking. Gotcha. 
What do we got back here? Fulcrum one. Uh, commander? Move order received. Um. Sure. Engaging with target. Destroy the target warehouses. Drop some missiles on this guy. I'm here. Affirmative. 48 left, eh? We'll hold off. I don't know if they've got reinforcements. Waiting for orders. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Ready for orders. Ready for orders. You can't see that last turret still, eh? Alright. Still can't see the last turret. Waiting for orders. On my way. I made sure you got enough ammo. I can't remember if I just don't have the ATM ammo or we don't have room for it. It's so most likely we don't have room for it. There's one turret back here that I can't. I still can't target these friggin' buildings. I still can't see the turret. Come on, kill the guy already. Moving through position. Okay, multi target. Might as well use these up firing. Okay. Enemy structure damage, Commander. Yeah, man. Good to go. At least we finally got eyes on. On my way. Alright, dump some rounds on this guy. There we go. Got it. Yeah, we can cut the turret up finally, but we can't shoot him. Nicely done. Nicely done. Knocked out a vehicle. Sure did. Uh, Commander? We got a turret over here I need you to take care of, please. And thank you. Thank you. It's a camo with LRM turret. See ya. Turret destroyed. I wonder if they're gonna have reinforcements. Okay. Probably not. Advancing, I guess. You guess? Don't guess. No. And let's switch this to HE, because why not? Nah. Enemy structure yeah, I gotta say, I'm starting to really like the ATMs. I know I use them for a while, and then I stopped using them. But, um, I, I gotta say, I'm really liking them again. The ammo switching makes them totally viable. Engaging multiple targets. Ooh, not quite enough, eh? But you figure 27 times 12, like all 27 missiles hit times 12 damage, it's like over 300 damage, man. It's crazy. It's like what? 322. 320, 324 damage. So it's like, you know, it's crazy. You get a mech from the side and you can just shred the thing. There we go. Problem solved. Okay, so we're going to jump to the next system. 
once we get through this stuff here. We didn't get much out of this. Ah, Thanatos part, Raptor part. What is this? Suicide bomb. Several tons of explosive hot water detonate together. Weapon carries an internal ammo for a single salvo. Deals area effect damage, 250 meters of impact. Wow. Range 90 meters. So... How would you do with this thing? Deals area effect damage within 200. So you're going to take damage from it, right? Additional area effect damage is 50 to primary and secondary targets. So you'll take 50 damage. Additional area effect heat damage is you'll take, take 50 heat. And then 40 per turn because you'll be burning for four turns. <laughs> so it's probably a good idea to kill that fire truck. Oh, man. That's why I couldn't see what was on it. Let's take this for cash. Um, double heat sink. Eh. There's nothing down here I want. All right, let's start looking for money here. Take that for money. We got enough tags, right? We got like what two? Yeah, we're fine. Um, are we twenty? Let's take the Thanatos part, cause sure. <laughs> let's take the suicide bomb just so we can say we have it. All right, got the Raptor part. I mean, worst comes to worst, if we need sea bells, we got lots of mech parts we can sell. All right, that's nothing. All right, so we got time to do one more today. Let's jump systems. I already know where we're going. Just having a look around here. There's a good system we can jump. It's even closer to where we need to be. So we're right here. We're going to jump to, yeah, five skulls. Oh, four skulls. No, sorry, where is it? Here it is. Monaghan. 13 days out. That's going to give us enough time to get the king crab back, and then we'll be uh, 31 days away from here, which is plenty. So let's head over there. So I'm hoping we get a five skull mission because I want to run that king crab today. I I built it between episodes, um, and I just I'm just really really interested to see how it's going to run. I mean, it's not optimal by any means, stretch of the imagination, but it's definitely going to be a fun build. Yeah, man. Two million, eh? Well, we're doing okay. If you figure the mechs we have, we're doing all right. All right, King Crab's back in the day. There it is, folks. All right, we got it. Let's get to the planet and figure out what we got. Ah, I'm not going to visit the store. Um, I haven't found a weapon mount in the store yet. That's really the only thing I'm looking for at this point in weapon mounts. So let's quickly have a look at the contracts. There won't really be anything for us, I don't think, at the start. Oh, there's this one. Lost contact. Okay, we're taking to take that one if we can. Uh, let's have a look at our mech warriors. Griff should be at ten, all tens now. He was really close. Yep. There we go. Training confirmed, Commander. Finally got the commander up. All right, avalanche still good. Eagle. We've been waiting for gunnery. You're not going to advance much more than that. So I've just been waiting for gunnery on these ones. Uh, Gocho, no. Giant, Goodbye. yeah, gunnery. Definitely going to need that. I'm also considering in the next campaign too, not going down the gunnery tree so we won't have access to Warlord or multi-target. It'll always it'll have to be like piloting guts or tactics. Um, just to make it that much harder. Be nice and challenging, I think. Um, okay, Griff, you're good. You? Hannibal, no. Judge, no. Mockingbird, we can't do anything, but you've got lots of experience. Six-pack, no, we're good, but you're almost up. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Well, we only got one five-skull. No big deal. We're going to take that. Um, technical issues, uh, hard landing, dropship's available, piece of technology is cargo. Willing to write it off the dropship itself, but much need to cargo. Uh, Davy and recover the cargo. Okay. Raid that facility and recover the item. We can certainly do that. In the jungle, eh? Let's see what we can get out of this. All right. We're not going to... Oops, where are you here, Hannibal? We're going to send in the second lance, but we're going to send it in as we normally would. Uh, and where are you here? Gocho. All right. And then we're going to pull out... 
the next I don't want. We're going to put the uh, Orion on Gocho. Uh, and Hannibal's going to pilot the King Crab. That's going to be a fun mech. You just wait to see, wait to see what it's got on it. Um, now, we're targeting a base, right? We got Rax. King Crab's a close range fighter. So let's grab ranged. Let's put artillery on judge and ranged on avalanche. Although she should be in a relatively fast mech. Well, Amelia is not that slow, really. What's the engine on this thing? 275. The Black Knight's got what? Is the Black Knight faster? I think it was a little bit, wasn't it? It's got a 300 marginally faster. Well, not really. It's probably going to be the same speed. Um, oh, you know what? Forget it. We haven't run the Atlas yet. Let's bring the Atlas in. You get the Atlas, girl. Sure, why not? Let's do this. All right, here we go. So I wasn't really 100%. Oh, we got to go up a hill. Of course we do. And there's our, we're not escaping, we're killing everything. Um, so I wasn't really 100% happy with the King Crab Loto because it didn't really have all the parts I wanted to put it together with, but we needed to get it running, so I did it. Just did it anyway. Uh, let's get up as far as we can here. Um, I want to get these racks in range. Um, so we got our artillery mech. Let's move it down over here. I love these stripes. They're kind of cool. Alright, so Hannibal, we got a pair of Rack 20s in this thing. Um, with 70 rounds in total. So, if this thing gets close to anybody, it's going to shred them. It's just going to shred them. So let's get up as far as we can go to start. The thing about the Rack 20s is they're 20 tons of pop. So our uh, Battle Master's got three ERPPCs and an LRM-20, and we've got a PPC capacitor in here too. All right. Just the only problem is we're really slow because of our weight, but that's fine. Gonna wish you hadn't done that. I wish you hadn't done that. What do we got up here? Arinia, that's it. Guess who's taking the rack 20s? Norman Gundir. Jesus Christ. Should have brought the mule near. Damn it, it knew I didn't have my uh, advanced AMS. It's okay, we got uh, an arrow and thumper. So we're gonna thump that guy. A white, okay. Well, they can see us, so that's fine. Well, we sprinted, so, I mean, not much we can really do about it. Be nice if the King Crowd had the, uh, Good to go. the LPS, whatever, the... Oh, can we actually... 15. 22%. Mm, nope. Let's just keep pushing. Judgment time. As much as I want to shoot the Yeoman Gun Deer, what else do we have back here? Cataphract. I think these guys are the better option. Maybe they're not. Wow. Yormi's 14, 16. Um. Yeah. I didn't want to use the arrow. Um, or the inf like the arrow's inferno ammo because it's just going to like... We have to go that way, right? So we'll be walking through either the minefield or the... Uh, or the arrow stuff. So there's no... Like the uh, fire. So there's no point. No 
Oh joy. Shoot somebody! Shoot this guy! Shoot anybody! Uh, we're just gonna fire. Not putting the capacitor on yet. There's no point. And that king crab gets in there though. It's full armor too. Front and back. Or maybe a little bit off the back. I can't remember. Come on, you guys. Sucks that we're down below here. White? Question mark? Maybe? Maybe we focus the RD on the Yorman Gundir. I think we're going to drop some um, Inferno on him first, then some Fast Gam. Oh, he's not moving. <gasps> Somebody needs a pair of rack 20s. Uh huh. This isn't looking too good. Yeah, well. Wait till we move. God damn it, man. Reporting heavy damage. Yeah, I know. Waiting on you, Commander. One of these two. 69%, 43. Let's shred this guy. And just because... Um... So this tells me how many rounds we're using, right? Times six rounds? So that would be 12 rounds. Wow, I heat warning already, eh? <laughs> 20 times 30 damage. Oh my god. Uh, let's go four and four. So I just warlorded too, because why not? Because we can. What's up, buddy? <laughs> that's awesome. I can't wait to find a mech that's actually uh, worthy of your uh, targeting. Because that guy sure as hell wasn't. Alright, let's uh, start off. The army still hasn't gone yet. So I think what we're going to do... Um, a stumper. That's precision, right? Yeah, let's go the Inferno with this one. Um, let's go with Chaff, because if we hit, I want to make it harder for him to hit, too. Don't think we got anything on him. Well, at least he's overheating. Well, probably overheating. Uh, so wait, that's our right side taking damage, which means the left side's got to be facing these guys, which is this side, like that. Right? Right? Yeah. That doesn't look right to me. Doesn't have to look right, I guess, though. It just has to be right. Um, wow, it drops by that much, eh? So let's go four. All right. Nothing. Nothing. Failed to connect. Yep, you know who the threat is. Yikes. That hit hard. Sure did. Yep. Oh, we can see the army from here too. We gotta get it some higher ground. This is terrible. All right, fire on this guy. This. 
See, the thing about the awesome, it's, you know, it's got the three ER PPCs. Yeah, not that heavy. It's got the three ER PPCs, but um, has no armor. That's the thing I discovered about it. The torsos are like 120 armor. The legs are 170. You can just strip through the torsos and kill it. Which is the only reason why I can get three PPCs in there, I guess. But, um, Battlemaster with full armor. It's got the same, right? So, three ER PPCs plus alarm 20. Don't knock me down. Destroyed some of my ammo. Yeah, it is. Uh, I'm bleeding, Commander. God damn it. Thank God for a lot of armor, though. Whoa! Easy on the armor, buddy. Ready for orders. Um, yeah, let's heat him up some more. Nothing. He's already got heat, a lot of heat on him. Now he's got a lot more. He's lost stability. Wind those racks up, baby. Oh yeah, we took the rack damage already, that's right. Okay. Solid connection, that one. What do you need? Uh, so we got um, Swarm on this too. That's the left torso. We need to turn the right side, right? Just barely in range, but that's fine. Um... Okay. Both racks are free now. It's probably the white going first. Yep. Man, we're taking a pasting on this one. The hell? You did. How many did we get? Looks like we got a lot there. Five, that's it, eh? It's a good thing I gave you lots of armor, huh? Huh. Moving to position. What is up, buddy? Critical hit. 
critical hit. Yeah. I'll do what I can. Screw you! Yeah, I caught him. Oh well. Let's just put it at three. Firing. All right. Now, hopefully, that jerk won't be able to see us anymore. And thumper a C. Normal. I don't want to hit. I don't want to hit with fast cam. Yeah. He's probably overheating big time. Okay, that was bad. Commander? Stay in the open gives us a little bit better chance to hit. Yeah, let's warlord it up because I don't think we're going to need much more than that. This turn. Come on. Target him. Huh, interesting. What do you need? I have no idea if we got the chaff on him. Oh, 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 oh. Let's move. Only got 20 rounds of LK left, but we're going to use it. Okay, looks like we got the tag on him. Went down. Awaiting orders. Okay, wait. We gotta. Our left arm is still okay. We gotta turn this way. Okay. Oh man. Uh, right side. Got it. Let's get fired up. There's work to do. Not gonna have much better chance to do take this guy's leg off than now. So. Yeah, but I have no idea if he hit the leg or not. On my way. Waiting for orders. Fifty one, we got the leg, nice. Cause fuck you. Locking on. <laughs> blew his head right off. I love you. That was awesome. Double time. Let's get out of this cluster frig. Yeah. Roger that. Don't Digging think we're going to have reinforcements. Good to go. Man. There it is. Good work. Well, the King Crab performed well. It's going to cost us more than 71,000 in damages, though. Um, performed pretty well. I'm interested to see how it's going to do against the Salt Mechs close up. You know, we definitely went with the wrong mechs that time, though. The Orion was, the, was one of the right ones, but um, yeah, we lost one of the rack doubles, though. Crap. I think this was all our... We might have one Rack 20 double left. Maybe? I don't think we do. I think this was all our Rack 20 ammo. Well, at least it'll give us a chance to put a medium laser or something in there. Alright, Jormungandir. 
There you go. Enhanced LRM 20s. Uh, laser AMS clan. I know it seems crazy to take that, but it's worth its weight in gold for half a ton. Um, PPC capacitor range finder, 100 sight plus one initiative. Weapon mount plus two. That's going to help out. Although this is kind of nice too. We don't already have many co cockpit mods. This is actually a pretty good one. But I think I'll go for the accuracy. Alright. Alright, we got like, what? An extra three Orman Gundir parts? Cataphract part, white part, a couple of ELRMs, wow. Uh, a couple of Guardians. And we got the Rangefinder, that's awesome. Alright. There it is, folks. 400,000. Get repairing, please. Well, the double rack 20 had to be tried. And I think the Atlas, I think I'm going to switch it around. I ha uh, Maybe not. Let me think about it. I've got the uh, the uh, heavy Gauss rifle that I haven't used yet. 130 damage. It's only got two tons of ammo for it, though. So, I don't know. We'll have to put it on something. Let's manage our tasks. Let's get the... Oh, crabs... Oh, it's barely going to be back for the uh, missions. It took so much damage. Shoot. How many days do we have left? No. I want to make sure... I want to run that in the... Uh, in the fight here. It's like 44, right? 31, it's not going to be back. It's not going to be back. Unless we stop the repairs. We can't really do that. I don't know. Let's have a look at the Yerman gun deer here. We don't have much time. So we're just going to have to outfit what we have. Your army. Looks like it might have a lot left on it. Okay, what's the repair on this guy? 652,000. Not that bad. Enhanced LRM 20s. Artemis built right in. Missile crit. Increased range with missile weapons. Minus 50% minimum range. Allows Artemis 4 to be used. Okay. Cockpit's normal. That's normal. S ER small blaze fire? 20% jammed chance. ER laser 360 meters. Or half a ton. Eh, not bad. You got ammo in the legs too, eh? Alright, let's pull this stuff off though. We'll leave these on. Wow, it's got six missile hard points in the arms. Are you kidding me? Holy crap, we're building this thing now. It's got six missile hard points in the arms, guys. Six. Everyone's probably going, yeah, of course it does. What, you didn't know that? I'm like, no, I didn't know that. Um, I... I I don't even know what to say to this. This is going to be crazy. Uh, let's find our core first. It doesn't need to be fast. It doesn't need to be fast at all. That's like what? A 3-6 or something? 4-6 movement? Who the hell cares? It's got 15% missile range. So we might have a better actual cockpit than that though. Um... The Predator, no, is the Rainmaker? Missile Heat Generation, no, I thought I had another one. There's the Indirect, which is a plus three to hit, which I would take over. But this is better too, well. Yeah, it'd be better for direct fire. Artemis, I thought it had something else. Guess not. 
So the Artemis gives us what? Plus one accuracy with indirect fire and gets us the chance to use Artemis ammo. This gives us range. No accuracy, but gives us a chance to use Artemis ammo. Okay. Range finder. It's already got the range finder. We don't need that. Tracker sensors. I think plus one to hit is going to be a bonus for this thing. Um, yeah, man. Where do we want to put on this thing? It's got to be a long range platform. That's for sure. We've got Aero 4 ammo still. We, still. we think we still have an Aero 4 as well. These enhanced LRMs are nice. But at 14 tons, you're better off putting a couple of LRM 20s in instead. But I've only got one clan LRM 20 left? Really? How do I only have one left? Although the 15s... Got to worry about heat too, right? Uh, so that. Got the core in already. Got an Aero Force system. Artemis system can't be used with Aero Force. So I guess we can't use Aero Force. Yeah, we can use ATMs though. Possibility. Um, what did that composite give us? Should have read that beforehand. Minus fifty percent structure weight, and minus fifty percent structure weight points. Now I think if we're going to be in battle, we want. We definitely want to have um, as much protection as possible. But if he's at long range, is it going to matter? Is it really going to matter? Okay, we got good patchworks we can add into this guy. Um, so, how much heat seeking do we need? We need a fair bit now, eh? 178. That's why we picked up the prototype double heat sink kit. Where is it? Um, do we want. Yeah, I'm thinking we go defense on this guy or do we go could go double XL gyro gain some weight that way, but it's going to use up space if we do that, right? Regular XL uses up a little bit of space, gets us what, 4 tons, 3 tons? All right. So these ones are busted, but we can fix them. What are we at now? God, pretty close. We don't have any exchangers, I don't think. That's pretty darn close, man. So it's 60, 120, LRM 180, right? No, 30, 60, not LRM 90, and ATM 18. Well, how much do these weigh again? Five tons? Let's not mix. Let's not mix ammo. Let's not mix ammo. Um, so we go with. Where are the fifteens? We use them all. We used them all, didn't we? Tens are what? Two and a half tons. We got one twenty left. We got this. We got the streak twenty, but it uses streak LRM ammo. I've only got one ton of streak LRM ammo. So while it's a better chance to hit, the problem is is that I've got like, it'll fire six times and that'll be it. I'm better off using just something else. 
Like we could drop an LRM20 and a pair of 10s. And we got 15 tons for ammo in case. And whatever armor we want to throw in. It's gonna, I can't do that. We could use clan armor, which just has the general case, but we don't have a lot of case two or anything left. We've got one case two left. Like, you know what I mean? We're really, we have to rip it out of something else. You know what, the king crab's got some. We may have to rebuild him differently if we're gonna get it back into battle. So I'll leave a ton free. We'll take the case out of the king crab. Right, that's going to give us 13 tons left for, for ammo. And we should have a ton of LRM ammo. Incendiary. Uh, where's all our LRM ammo? Down here, I guess. Regular double loads, which would be nice, but um, I think we want to go this route. Because we've got the Artemis system, we might as well take the plus two to hit. So that's, so we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, at least nine tons of ammo. That'll give us eight turns of continuous fire. And then whatever we add on top of that is bonus. So how I'm figuring that out is LRM 15, right? With one ton of ammo, which is 120, gives us eight rounds of shot, right? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six of these, right? For eight turns, so there's five, six, and then we've got another LRM 50, which is basically three 15s, which is three more tons, right? So, and we got one left over because we have an extra five, so that's a little extra rounds. Now, do we have, we don't really have, we got L, We got a little bit of LRM Swarm, a little bit of Thunder. See, we only got one streak LRM. We got two tons left. What's the heat sinking at right now? Still crazy good. Um, we don't have, oh wait, where's the laser AMS? One of the reasons why I got it. Oh shoot, we're out of space. Hmm. Got to go with the gyro. I mean, I guess we could put the composite back in. I hate the fact that it's going to half our internal structure, though. But... I think we have to. Oh, no. Oh, right. Sorry. I guess I should be watching that, eh? Could you imagine this guy with an ATM loadout? Like all ATMs? Put some speed on it, getting close. Be crazy. Um, okay. We don't have a stealth system yet either. Can't put that in. Man. We could put the TSM in though. At least if he's if he's hot, he can get run the hell out of there. Let me think about that. I'll leave it there for now. This is like one ton, right? Yeah. Uh, I think we have a watchdog suite. Plus one defense, increased sensor range, increased sight range, minus 50% signature, four to checks, 210. And this is still one defense, but 180. So the watchdog suite is definitely the better choice. Over by half a ton. Why is that? Is this two tons? It's one and a half. Laser AMS is what? Oh, it's one ton. I thought it was half a ton. Um, well, we can fix that. Um, I 
That'll do it. 1.4 million. 45 days, though. There's no way we can get this thing into battle. Still, though, like, I don't know. What do you think about... I'm not going to I'm not gonna confirm this, but what do you think about the loadout? I mean, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. we got to manage our time now. we only got 31 days. We have to decide what we're going to do with that. So, let's scrap this. 45 days. Ah. I'll tell you what. If... Depending on how quickly Rogue Tech comes out for the next series. Um, look at the arm on this thing. It's insane. Uh, depending on how quickly Rogue Tech comes out for the next series. Um, once we finish the next Flashpoint, we'll uh, load this guy up. But I think what I'll do is, because this episode is kind of going a little long, we're going to stop the King Crab. Because it's not going to come back in time. So I'll see what I can do with this. It does have the Chameleon LPS. That's right, I forgot all about that. It's the Sneaky Crab with the Double Ultra 20s. I have to find some way to get this thing back into battle. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we'll figure it out. And then I'm going to have to load these guys up with something. Something cheap, something easy. Maybe next episode we go into battle. in the Because uh, we're going to have to wait for these mechs to come back. And I don't want to risk extensive damage like we've got to the uh, King Crab. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Alright guys, I'm going to leave the episode there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Also, drop any comments in the comment section down below. I mean, I'm not really 100% happy with the Atlas loadout, the three ER PPCs and the LRM20. It's like, meh. We never did use the PPC capacitor. I keep forgetting to turn the damn thing on. I'm so used to the, having it always on, but I keep forgetting to turn the damn thing on. So it might be a waste to have it set up that way. So maybe we do put the uh, um, heavy gauss rifle in there and the other torso. The only problem is, is that, you know, it's like if you do that, it's in a torso, so you're losing out on the arm bonus. So then you need an, you need uh, a TTS weapons for ballistic to make it better chance to hit. You need a Gauss rifle thing in the head, uh, TTS to make a better chance to hit. Like you know what I mean? It's just not going to be accurate. So unless we can mount the uh, the uh, heavy Gauss in an arm of something, it's not really going to be a viable weapon for 20 tons, especially if it's only got eight shots. So you kind of have to build a mech around it. And since we got the Kerberos with no ammo for the BFG 9000, maybe we put it in the Kerberos and just have it as a joke mech. I don't know. we got to figure stuff out. Um, anyway, we'll do that between episodes, all right? So, uh, yeah, until next time, we'll see you all later.